So right here we have Sonic Electro Block or Electro Box. I forgot, but so this is the game. I mean, back then we had different standards for games. You know, this is just a fan game and it's a really good game, but you know, that's my point. You know, Game Jolt has a collection of Sonic games that are very underrated that you could check out that are all free and they're very good. So, you know, really I wanted to make a more meaningful video because, like, I did game reviews for a long time already, so I'm kind of burned out on YouTube and I don't have any ideas for videos and stuff that I want to do. I'm just out of ideas. So, you know, it's just cool to, like, go back to this time that was, like, the early 2000s when, you know, gaming was a lot better. can't get the jump here, I don't know why, I keep trying to do it. Okay. I can go faster than this, I'm chilling right now. I just don't really feel like, you know, going that fast right now because I'm doing a review, you know. So yeah, even the music is great. Da -da -da. Boom. You know, you got that old Sonic 2 song where... Na -na 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 -na. You know. I was thinking of like doing podcasts. You know, I'm just doing stuff that everyone's doing now. Because, you know, I like to share my ideas and stuff. You know, try to get farther on YouTube than I'm getting so far. I try, I'm just trying to get farther on YouTube than I can get so far. But it's not easy because, you know... It's not easy to keep people interested. You know, just in this time period that we're in now... It's very not easy to keep people interested because everything's been done already. So, you know, it's like... Like, I'm trying stuff, like... I hope I didn't just die there. Okay. The game's a little fair when it comes to recovery and stuff. So, you know, right here you have a very chill Sonic game. It only gets a little hard at the later stages, and it's not very hard. And there are some really great zones in this game. You know, like, the starting zones are kind of generic, but as you progress through the game, you go to zones where, like, Sonic is in space and stuff. And, you know, that's cool. That's some cool stuff. Like the old Sonic games, they were made with this engine that they call G-Mate. And they're, it's just a lot better than the stuff that they're coming out with now because like, when you play Sonic ROM Hacks, the game is just so cheap. You know, ROM Hackers, they always want to piss you off instead of actually making a game that's coherent, you know. Over here you have a hidden zone. I think this is a boss fight that you have with what's his name with like very simple boss fight that you have with Metal Sonic. Pretty easy, you know, no really error to screw up. Just I okay. I changed my words. This turtle is just going wherever he wants to go. He has a smile on his face, because he knows. 
that's it. Pretty boring, huh? Pretty boring. I oh, you gotta be careful. It'll still try to kill you at the end of the... I don't even know what that is. I've never seen that in a Sonic game. Some filthy looking creature. Oh, yeah. Start paying attention. Well, that's for sure. This guy really loves spikes. Well, that's the end of that. So, I don't really know, like, how many of these stages that I'm going to do. In terms of, like, the quality of Marvel Castle Zone, you know, the environment is very good. But it's kind of just like the regular Marble Zone, you know. But the game is kind of structured like Sonic CD, where... You basically, you can just run around very fast, and it's more about like exploring the stages rather than the traps in the stages. You know, and I like that type of style because, you know, sometimes classic Sonic can get you annoyed with all the traps. I don't know what these type of creatures are. Look at that, it's like a bird. It's like a bird, like a midget bird alien thing. I don't even know what that is, bro. Okay, I didn't like that one bit. Okay, we're having some slowdown here right now in the game. So most of the time the game runs fast and smooth. Sometimes there is some slowdown because this is a fan game. Oh, that thing looked filthy, bro. It was like a dinosaur's balls or something, bro. It's like just a dinosaur head with a mouth. Man, what the hell was that, bro? I think that's Tupac in the background, bro. What? Is Tupac is playing in the background of a Sonic game? Bro, what is going on, bro? Well, it fits. You know. Hey! Now these springs over there work in a specific way where you gotta keep jumping. I don't like that trap at all. So because of the slowdown that we're having right now, going slow but 
What am I gonna do, right? Oh, damn. I, I couldn't even do anything because of the slowdown. So this boss is a very specific type of boss. You have to bounce on him right at a certain point so you don't get hit by his, uh, his, uh, fire balls that he's spitting out. See, if you're like a second too late, then this is what happens to you. Uh, I just took the hits. I didn't care that time because getting more hits on him is more important than just sneaky little, sneaky little Robotnik. You know, that's a funny question. I wonder if like, they never talk about like Dr. Eggman's origins, but isn't Robotnik like kind of like a Russian name? So it's like, is Dr. Eggman supposed to be Russian? I don't know, man. Uh, this is all speculation, you know. That'd be a funny thing to talk about, like, you know, I know he's named Dr. Robotnik now, but, you know, I wonder, like, what that type of name that he has. He's a fictional character, so maybe I'm wondering too much. Now nah, he goes really fast at the end of the boss fight, so you gotta like throw yourself in there, I guess. So that's it. I guess I'll do one more stage to show the game off. This stage is a really cool stage because, I mean, just look at the environment and you got those guys playing the saxophone. I mean, it's, it's a real nostalgia trip. I mean, I hate to say it, but like, this is better than like what Sega puts out now. like. Just like the standards and the work ethic for gaming back then was like insane, you know. Like it's just so beautiful, you know, it's like a trip. So I don't know if Fraps is slowing my video recording down or it's just slowing down I'm not sure but either way as long as I'm getting through the level you know that's all that matters oh those guys are dirty look at look at it it's literally <laughs> the mantis in a top hat the mantises are the most dirty the most dirty characters in the Sonic universe they always hit Sonic So there is one thing that's unfortunate about the game. To play this game, you need to have a... You need to have a... Alright, I lost my train of thought there. You need to have Joy to Key because... I don't know, the, the D input doesn't really work that well. So, so that's one way to sk skip a lot of the level that I just did. But you know,
that's it for that, I guess. So, you know, this it's an amazing game to play. You know, there's some slowdowns in the games, but this is basically a classic game. It's a hidden gem amongst Sonic fan games. So definitely check it out on Game Jolt. Check it out, man.